Welcome to day two of Defemorembra, your daily ephemera inspiration in December. This daily December series is a collaboration with 49 Dragonflies and we are going to show you really fun and easy ways to make your own junk channel ephemera out of basic supplies. Today's prompt is stars and paint sample. Let's go! Okay, so for today we obviously are going to need some stars. So I've decided to use this stencil that I have that has, <laughs> yeah, obviously some stars on it. Um, if you don't have such a stencil, you could also use some other things that you have in your stash. Um, you could um, also make your own stencil by taking a piece of yeah, heavier scrap booking paper, for example, or a plastic material. And if you perhaps have uh, one of these star punches, you could punch some stars and make your own stencil. Or you could also use um, perhaps some stamps that you have that would also work for this idea that I have for today. So please go to your stash and look for what you have. So Ephemeramba is all about making your own ephemera and using what you have so that everyone can join this fun project. Okay, so we will need this one later. And then the Defemoramba list says we are going to need some paint samples. So um, I have these here um, and I got these for free in yeah such a shop. Um, I don't know the English name, but you know where you can buy um, the paint for your walls. And there you can often get these things here for free. Um, but what to do if you don't have these things? <laughs> As I said... The ephemera is all about making your own ephemera. So um, I thought about a way how we can make our own paint samples if we don't have access to, to get these. So <clears throat> for this plan, I have this block here. So this is yeah some kind of sketchbook paper. It's mm, a little bit heavier. So perhaps this thing says how heavy this is. Um, yeah. It's 130 GSM. Um, yeah, of course, you could use any paper that you want, but I would recommend to use a little bit heavier paper because these original paint samples are a little bit heavier as well. They are not so flimsy. And if you want to work with uh, paint on a paper, of course, it has to be a little bit thicker so that it is handy later and that you can use it in your junk channel. Um, okay, so I've decided to take this. This is, uh, is this A4? <clears throat> yes, this is Dina A4. <clears throat> Excuse me. So um, I thought if I take the original thing here and lay it here to my page, it's approximately the same height. As you can see, it's only a little bit higher, this original one. So I thought uh, we could use this to, um, yeah, to make approximately the same height and width as the original thing has. So yeah, you know, we are trying to make our own ephemera. So we are going to need to see the measurements and probably make nearly the same measurements. Um, and this one here has one, two, three, four colors on it. I would like to use five colors for today. Um, I will tell you something about that in a second. So I've decided that I want to have 3.5 um, centimeters for one of these little areas. So I mean the height of these areas. So I'm just um, taking my ruler and making some marks here. Uh, 3,57, 5,14. Sorry, I have to say that in German. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4,5. So um, now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Um, areas that we have for the color that we want to put on here and we have one um, area here on the bottom for this white uh, thing here because I want to imitate this white as well so that it looks like the original so I will just um, make some marks let me think about this here on the end so that I can um, have a straight line here attention please this is the next letter for my giveaway. 
For detailed information on how to enter this giveaway, please read the description box. Okay, that seems to be correct. And now I want to have um, these white lines here. So, um, yeah, <laughs> that's a really easy thing because you can just take some thin washi tape. So this is the thinnest washi tape that I could find and it's approximately the same um, width of uh, like this white um you know, line has. So I'm taking this and just lining it up here with my marks that, that I've made. So if this is not totally straight, I don't care about that because, yeah, we are going to make junk journal ephemera and we are not, you know, <laughs> bring this into production for a paint shop. So I'm just um, placing my washi tape here and um, you know washi tape is not sticking so well. So I am going over this with my fingernail to make sure that this is sticking the best way whoo, it can stick. Of course, you could also use some masking tape if you have masking tape that's so uh, thin, but I don't have such things. So, yeah, let's try this. Okay, and then I've decided that I want to play around a little bit with water and make some cooler effects than they are on this paint sample. As you can see, these areas here are all the same color, but we are artists and we want to make a paint sample, but in a junk journal-y, artsy way. So I've decided to take out um, all of the Distress Oxide inks from nearly the same color family that I have. So um, I'm trying to arrange these so that it makes sense on my sample. So I would like to try to start with forest moss. So that will um, go here to the top area. And then I think we go on with bundled sage. That's close to, yeah, not close, but you know, it's a green as well as this forest moss is. Um, Lucky Clover is a more vibrant green and sometimes it turns out a little bit turquoise. So I've decided to use that next because it's in between of green and um, turquoise that I have here. Cracked Pistachio is my next one. And the last one is this Peacock Feathers that's more a turquoise than a green, but Let's try to get this, yeah, different, you know, this rainbow effect. <laughs> Even if we don't use all of the colors of the rainbow, you know what I mean. Okay, so then we are going to start with our first color, forest moss. And I'm taking this and I'm going over this first area directly with the ink pad. I'm trying to do this a little bit randomly, if that is possible. And if you are scared about coming into the other um, section here, you can just take a piece of paper and lay that here to your washi tape so that you can go over this until the edge of the washi tape. Just like this. As you can see, it's not not all covered with this ink, but that's not the plan. We don't want to cover everything. So then we are going to take the second one, Bundled Sage, or whatever you have chosen. And now, of course, you have to make sure that you don't come into this top area. So we can just take a second piece of paper, lay that down here. Just hold that with your fingers really easily. That's no problem. And we are going... Whoop, if I said it's no problem we are going to bring this ink here and if you come into the other area I think it's not the problem you will get a cool result later anyway so um, I just want to make sure that I have not too much in the next area if that happens okay so that then we take the next one this is lucky clover just 
place this here again. And this ink pad is really new, as you can see, so I can get uh, much ink out of it and it's easier to apply than when the ink pad is a little bit dry already. As you can see, that was really easy. And now, um, for the next one, Cracked Pistachio, um, you have to make sure that this is dry. As you can see, this is really uh, not dry, so make sure that you don't um, yeah, come into the wet ink with the next color. So I'm just um, making a little fold here, and I'm tearing this, or you could also of course use your scissors to make a straight cut here so that you can use this paper again do not ruin your ink pad just cut that these strips you can use as collage fodder or whatever and we can place this thing here and use the next color and Another thing is, when Barbara and I came up with this Defem Remba idea, um, we yeah, tried to find the prompts for the list and <coughs> we decided that we want to surprise ourselves as well. So that's the reason why this list is a surprise for us as well. Um, <coughs> on our Defem Remba list, there's one prompt that says the ephemera piece. I mean, this is obviously paint sample. And the other one tells this the theme. So stars is the theme for our paint sample uh, project today. And um, I thought about where, uh, which ephemera we want to use for the list. And Barbara thought about the theme. And then we put together all of our prompts really randomly so we took her prompt number one and put it together with my prompt number one and that's not what i want now i'm talking here to you and i have this shit here on my paper that's not what i want but okay so let's live with that <laughs> <coughs> yeah what i wanted to say that's the reason why this list is also a surprise and a challenge for both of us to do these things. And yeah, <laughs> let's see. Uh, that's why probably sometimes um, these tutorials can be a little bit chaotic. <laughs> okay, so now we are taking this. I'm. Um, uh, this is, uh, by the way, water. <laughs> and I'm, I'm taking my, um, you know, paper here. And I'm holding this a little bit, yeah, you know, in a... A little angle off from my table so that the color can run here and I'm just spritzing some water here so that the colors I mean this ink can be activated and I want to let this flow a little bit um, over my paper and in this stage I don't care about if this mm, is mixing here and there a little bit so I mean you can also hold it like so and then spritz here and let this run to the other areas only a little bit because we don't want to have a mix of all of these colors but in the end this will look really great if some of these are mixed a little bit Oops, like this So I will just dry that. And while this is drying, I have the next letter for my giveaway for you. So please write this down. Every information on how to enter is down below in the description box. Okay, so here we go. Um, and we could also try to reactivate this ink um, and make some cool effects. I don't know if that will work on this paper, but we can always try that. And if it doesn't work we live with what we have but I think this oh this works really well so I'm just spritzing some 
drops of water and I'm pressing not, you know, totally so that I get this mist of water, but I'm pressing carefully so that I get bigger drops here and there. And then I take a dry, uh, you know, this thing here, try to lift some of the color up. Okay, so that worked medium well on this paper. This paper is really soaky. It, it soaks the paint really, really fast. But I think you can see this effect that you get when you spritz water to your distress ink. I think you all know this. If you use distress ink, you know this effect. And you know that it works on yeah, some papers. It works better. And on some papers, it works not so well. This obviously worked not so well. Um, I will dry this again. Okay, <clears throat> when this is dry, we can take um, our stencil and now I'm trying to do a little trick. <laughs> I'm taking the first color, so this is obviously forest moss and for my stenciling, I would like to bring this forest moss to the next area, so to the second area here. Then I'm taking bundled sage, that's this color. And I'm bringing it to this area, to the third area. Then I'm taking this Lucky Clover and stencil here to the next area. Th the same with um, Cracked Pistachio. I'm putting it here. And the last one, um, Peacock Feathers, I would like to bring up to this area that has <clears throat> nothing, you know. Hopefully that makes sense. So I'm placing my stencil here. Okay, so let's first take forest moss. As I said, that's the first color here on top. Then I'm taking this little finger sponge thingy here. And I'm stenciling on top of the second um, section here. And I like to bring only a little bit <laughs> of this um, first color to the third um, area as well, but only a little bit. For example, this bigger star here and this tiny one here, this here, so that you can imagine that these areas of color go into each other. Really, yeah, you know, in the end, you will see what I mean. Then for I um, let my stencil here. Then for the next one, we are going to need um, bundled sage, the second color. And we are bringing this into the third area. And a tiny little bit to the next one as well. Like so. Okay. <laughs> then we are going to need <coughs> Lucky Clover. And I'm really, really excited how Barbara will do this. So, um, of course, when we are recording these videos, <coughs> we are, yeah, firstly, not in the same place. <laughs> and while I'm recording this, Barbara is on a holiday and we cannot talk about what we are doing here. But we also decided that we don't want to talk about it. Um, so that we have the most uh, biggest surprise about the things that we do and we don't want to uh, to do the, the same things but I'm really really excited what she will do <laughs> okay so I have to concentrate now my stencil um, has come to its end here so let's take that off and you can see this already looks really really cool I, oh, I, I so I'm so in love with this this looks so cool because everything match is matching so well. Okay, so I have to just clean this a little bit. 
I mean, if you mix your colors, it's not such a problem because everything um, is in the same color range. You, you have chosen that before and it would be not such a problem if something is mixing up a little bit. But of course, um, we try to, yeah, you know, <laughs> sorry, I have to do this really carefully. This cracked pistachio is really new and it's really, um, it's really liquid. I have to make sure that I don't mess my stenciling up. Okay, so we have this and then we are just um, going to take the last one, peacock feathers, and bring that here. And I think that will be the most, you know, surprise uh surprising result because this is the highest contrast that we have on this blue or this turquoise on this forest moss green i think this is really outstanding hopefully <laughs> but if when the camera is recording i'm always a little bit nervous but <laughs> as you can see this looks so great okay so i will just um finish up these areas here in the same way like i did here and then i show you the next steps okay when this is finished it looks like this and i already really really like it i hope you like that too <laughs> to make it a little bit more artsy i've decided that i want to have some black stars here as well I know that sounds a little bit crazy because, yeah, of course, on those um, normal paint samples, uh, you only have these single colors in each area. But, you know, I want to have it look like a um, paint sample, but <coughs> in a really artsy way. So let's try that. Um, for this plan, I'm using, <coughs> oh, excuse me, please, stays on dread black. Um, to make sure that this comes out really really well and yeah, you know You could also use acrylic paint for this step. I believe um, That would also I think work really well Whoopsie What's that? <laughs> I think it's the next letter for the giveaway. Du -du 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 okay, so then uh, make sure that your fingers are as clean as possible so that you don't get such a mess like I, I have here. Because now we want to take off the washi tape and for that of course, you don't want to ruin these white areas that you have in between of your um, paint samples here, hopefully now. Oh yes, that worked really well. But you don't want to touch these areas with your dirty fingers. Hmm. Okay, so here and there, the ink went below the washi tape, but I think it's okay. Okay, so now we have to decide how wide we want to have our paint samples. And I think I will go with the width of this original thing here. And I can mark here and on the bottom where I have to cut. Because I will cut this now. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Do you like that? <laughs> I'm really in love with these with these paint samples, but of course they are not finished because on a regular paint sample you can find this white area here and here it has a number um, and it's they have this typical thing about a paint sample. Um, so I've decided to take some random stamps here. I only have these small ones, but I think that will work. Um, and since we have 
the black stars here. I would like to stamp the number in black as well. Here it's gray, but I don't have a gray ink pad. That's, yeah, problem number one. And problem number two is... Uh, I forget pro forgot problem number two, but <laughs> uh, <laughs> problem number two is if I had um, a gray um, ink pad, I would probably not see this so good on the white paper. So, yeah, let's take these things that we have. Of course, you could also um, write the numbers by hand. I don't like my handwriting, so doing like this and I just realized if you don't have um, enough ink on your stamp you can get a nearly gray result as well so pff, yeah <laughs> that's also a possibility okay so well, since we have this we have to find a solution for this area I mean, that looks not so great. This is okay for me. These three are okay. Because here it's not too much what I messed up. But here I think we can just go over this and make some stars here and there. This area in black. So that it looks like we have planned to do it like this. my solution <laughs> okay um, then we are going to need um, something that looks similar to this here this opening so let's take this one why not using this and tracing this here <clears throat> okay so let's try to cut that I think it's a good idea to punch here to get this round um, corner of this thing so that you don't have to cut this small round corner. Of course your punch can do a better job than you can do with your scissors, I believe. <laughs> okay, so. Hi, hi! It's time for the next letter for the giveaway. So, here we go. Um, now, you could also, of course, take a black pen, for example, and um, write the colors that you have used here. So, you could, you could take your black pen and write um, forest moss, bundled sage, lucky clover, cracked pistachio, uh, peacock feathers, like it is on a paint sample here as well. So, um, this says the different um, colors and it has these numbers here as well. Um, I don't know, have these things numbers? I think so. You could also use um, this number that it, is, that it says here and uh, write it here to your paint sample as well. Um, that would be an option, yeah, that you could do now. But I like to use these as journaling spots in my journal later. So um, if I use these and I um, yeah, put them into a pocket, for example, in my journal, then I can use these lines to write a date or the theme about uh, the things that I would like to journal. Or um, I could yeah, write anything that I want. You could also write a poem uh, in between here on these white lines. So I would not, I would not, um, <laughs> I like to do it not now, but when I have them uh, on hand and I, when I want to put them into my journal. So hopefully that makes sense. But of course you can do everything that you want now. And um, what you also could do is you could, where is it? 
here i tried that out you could also um, distress the edges as you can see this looks not so bad um, I think for a more vintage journal, this could be a really great idea to distress the edges. So I will just place the other one here. So as you can see, it's yeah, it's quite a bit different. Um, I like both, but I don't want to distress these now because I don't want uh, I don't know in which journal they will go. But I wanted also to show you the difference between these both looks okay whoo <laughs> that was our prompt paint samples and stars i hope you like this idea i hope you will follow along this defamoramba series here on barbara's and my channel Please also check out Barbara's channel today. She has another video about this idea, what you can do with paint samples and stars. I'm really excited what she has done. So please check that out. Every information is also listed down below in the description box. So thank you very much for joining me today. See you hopefully tomorrow. Until then, I wish you a very creative time. Stay healthy. See you. Bye bye. Surprise, surprise! <laughs> if you like these paint samples, you can get them as a freebie. This is a little gift from me to you. If you like them, please check out the info box. There's the link for you to download and use in your own junk journal creations. Have fun with them!